Coach Rose, and today let's talk about the uppercut. The uppercut is one of your best inside punches along with the hook. The problem is when you throw these punches, you're leaving yourself open for a brief time. It's not like when you throw a jab or a right hand, you still have your hands in front of your face. When you throw an uppercut, you're open. Or a hook, you're still open. So it's important when you learn these inside punches that you keep these as short as possible. But you still have to get enough power and speed to be effective. So as a right-handed fighter, the key to throwing this uppercut is you want to get your elbow underneath your glove as quick as possible so that this punch travels straight up his chest so you can catch him on the chin. So when you're set up, you're going to drop this right hand down about waist high. You just drop it down. There's no, you don't need to go around the back or anything like that. You just want to keep this clean and simple. So you're going to drop it and then pick it up. As you're picking it up, you're going to drop your shoulder down, roll your hip and your shoulder just like this, get your elbow underneath the punch, and then get this punch coming straight up as soon as possible so by the time it gets to his chin, you've got it going directly up the center, just like this. If you'll notice, I've got my left hand over here nice and tight. You don't want it coming in at an angle like this. You know, a lot of times guys will, they'll turn on it and they'll take the punch with them over here. Well, you are turning, but the cut punch is still going straight ahead. It's like this. Short and sweet. Now, throwing a left uppercut as a right-handed fighter, you have to really use a lot of leverage and balance. This punch is normally not going to have as much power on it as your right uppercut, but it still can do a lot of damage and it also sets up other punches. Same thing, drops down and then you pick it up and it's all in the hip and shoulder rotation. Drop, twisting my hip, my shoulder, dropping this shoulder, right hands here, picking it up, straight up. Okay, I'm going to start with the left uppercut first. Now keep in mind, when you're working on your technique on the bag, you don't need to throw hard. Don't walk up and start blasting away because this is how you develop bad habits. If you start throwing hard the wrong way, it'll stick with you for a long time. So just ease up to the bag and just think about getting your technique down first and you can always bring the power in later. So the left uppercut, you're always close. You're in tight on this punch. Dropping and picking it up. Might require me to dip it in the bag a little bit. And the right uppercut, same thing, dropping it down and picking it up. So that's your uppercut. Remember, you want to keep it short and sweet. Get all your power from the rotation of your hip and your shoulder. Work on it on the mirror and then take it over to the back. Then you'll be ready to work on it in the sparring session. Train hard and I'll see you next time.